So for those of you still watching this, I am back again with Ski Change 15. Probably the second last video that I will do, at least on this year's edition. And there was a mistake that I did at the last video. I told you that we would see each other again at Garmisch. Now the problem with this is though that... Now don't be stupid game. Kitzbühel is long over. Garmisch doesn't start until the 8th of February, which is tonight. Um, but in between these two races, there's the championship. Um, and usually, um, that's why I forgot about this, usually the championship is right after the World Cup in the game ended. Uh, and not in between, so it's it's like a unique tournament um, that consists out, uh, out of only one race, which happens to be Beaver Creek. Now you might be thinking, Beaver Creek, didn't we already have this? And indeed we had, um, seems to be like a reappearing bug there. We already had Beaver Creek in the World Cup as our first race. And the funny thing is, it's the exact same track. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even kidding. But I'm doing pretty fine on this because apparently nobody plays this. Currently ranked 250, that's not too bad. Uh, it's very unlikely that I will improve on this video, but you never know. And yeah, Beaver Creek is like the worst track. I, I hate this track with a passion because uh, like the first 45 seconds are extremely boring. This is the ski that I'm using by the way. And then you have like 30 seconds that are totally based on skill, which is a good thing. And then the last 30 seconds are like complete random luck. So. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. And like I said, these first 45 seconds are extremely boring. And since you do this, since you have to do this online, you can't reset. You have you will see this a lot. I mean like really a lot. It's it's almost putting me to sleep how boring this is. And I don't know. I don't know what Green Troop were thinking. They they actually make us play this track a second time. And the funny thing is though that Beaver Creek, there is a second version of this track available. And yeah, there's only one downhill version of Beaver Creek available. It happens to be uh, in Beaver Creek this year, the championship. So of course they can't uh, come up with something completely original. But they, um, there is a, there's a kind of a slalom version of this track available. It's a little bit shorter than the actual downhill track. And they could have given us that, you know, instead of making us run uh, on on the Beaver Creek downhill track a second time. Because it's not the most fun track to play a second time in, in the exact same season. But on the other hand, uh, I get my revenge. You know, I didn't expect it to get it that soon though. Because uh, Beaver Creek is probably a track that will be in any upcoming Ski Challenge uh, season. Since Bormio will pretty much leave the calendar. And this was a horrible run, but you know, it's it's like always when you play a video game, you talk at the same time, you, you're playing extremely shitty. And I already lost two places right there. That's great. But I should be uh, maintaining a top 300 because only like an hour and 40 minutes to go. So yeah, um, usually I'm pretty bad at this track. I did practice it a lot, like the first week this track was out. Uh, I practiced the crap out of it, but unfortunately on snow, because I was 100% certain that the race would take place on snow. But yeah, B uh, Green Tube decided to give us Beaver Creek on ice, which is pretty much uh, playing exactly the same as it would on Sun. On Snow it would have been uh, a different track, because you have to use a different technique to get around these turns. Which uh, I don't get around to show you. Maybe next year. But yeah, Green Tube uh, decided to come up with the worst possible solution 
to handle this championship in, in this heat challenge. You know, they could have given us the slalom version and everything would have been fine. Or at least they should have made this a snow race. But that's just my opinion. But in the end it doesn't really matter because it's always the same guy winning these races anyway. I mean, this is this the who guy who's like number one in any race. It's pretty ridiculous. Guy's like a machine. But yeah. The pros use like a, a 2039 ski on this, but if I tried this ski for like one or two hours. And I was so slow with them that I changed the ski and I came up with a, like a 1642 ski. And I was surprisingly fast with that and this is the ski that I ended up with, like a 1742 I think it is now. This is the worst turn, seriously. But yeah, in an hour and a half, uh, it's time for Garmisch, then we will finally see something new. Seriously, I, I hope that this track will not appear in the next speed challenge, because then I might boycott it, because how boring this track is. Not saying it's not challenging, but, you know. There are other tracks that I would play like a second time, for instance, Bormio, which is my favorite track, or Kitsbu was nice too. But of course they can't, uh, oops, do that a second time right after. Anyhow, last try and then uh, I'm gonna try to focus on this one just to see how close I can get to my personal best time while I'm live. Stay really close to these gates though. Very gentle steering. Then open up. Get around this corner with the brake key. I want this one as well. I might jump there, yes I do. What I hate about this track too is that this guy just keeps jumping like like a bunny on the moon. That's still a second. Ah Man. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna improve. The, the run that I did like an hour ago, it was just perfect. There's like this mythical barrier that that's like two seconds to, to the very best player that you can't just break. It's just impossible. I wish I knew what, I, what I'm doing wrong that I'm losing so much time. Not in this run, I mean like in general. But on the other hand, these guys have been playing since the very first ski challenge, so it's not a big deal. Anyhow, um, the next time I will definitely see you in Garmisch, and uh, then I will do a tutorial again. And until then, I see you, and I see you.